saw you at Chapel's Burning. Something about you stinks. I think I know how to free Dandelion. Got a plan, but we need Dudu. Gotta find him. This plan? What is it? Our Doppler friend will assume Menga's form. Order Dandelion move to Oxenfurt. We can grab him on the way. Brilliant. But how do you aim to find Dudu? You're his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With the Doppler, the question's never where, but as whom? In the past, facing trouble, he disappeared, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time... This time he hasn't returned. We need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with, someone he trusts. Dandelion. Irina Renard's troop. That's all, really. Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. So he liked going to the mummings. Yes. I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. He certainly could have counted on the Fox's help. Hmm. So if these mummers are ready to help... We need only mention Dudu. Irina and company are deeply in debt to him. Maybe we could use a play. You know, work a message to Dudu into something. Lure him out of hiding that way. Not a bad idea. But I doubt a few lines would suffice. Besides... Do you really think Dudu whiles away his days attending mummings he knows by heart? So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play. From scratch. Something grand. Something that will grab Dudu's attention. So most importantly, it must have a splendid title. It must be the talk of the town. If you wish, we can start on it right away. All right. Guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Actually, I was hoping... The key is to convince Dudu that he can rely on you, and that we wish to free Dandelion. The message must be clear, though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence, meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? Yeah, all clear. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Povis. I know. Lorenzo Moller. A tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit and the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide and can only count on the help of his friend, who's a witcher, who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No, better. His beloved. Hmm. What do you think? Sounds great. Really think so? Lorenzo Moller? Yeah. Mm. Or perhaps not. Wait, I've got it! We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlenwald. Secret lovers, their betrothal, a curse, a cruel queen, bells sounding midnight. But... At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Parvera. They want him dead, but at that instant a witcher steps in. And everything ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You wish to say something? We need a good title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I've some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? Of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. I've two really good ones. The Doppler's Salvation and A Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph. Which do you prefer? Let's go with the Doppler's Salvation. It's shorter, catchier. Just one problem. No Dopplers in that story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simpler. We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. A witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? Hmm, all right. So it's a comedy. I was thinking more along dramatic lines. But if you prefer something lighter, Listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. I think comedy's the safer option. Very well. I must get to work. While you must pick a corner, sit down, read silently, or just think. All right? Fine, since you don't need help with the writing. 
Geralt, wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, did Itcher? Ugh, just keep quiet. <sighs> Done. I could make a small masterpiece of this had I a bit more time, but... We're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you weave in? Hidden message? You were gonna work something in, like come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or... That wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all! You wrote it to contact Dudu. That was the purpose. Fine. So how do you see this working? I don't know. I was counting on recognizing him by his scar. Or just improvising? Shall we worry about that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Sure you know where to find her? The troop performs in the butcher's yard off the main square. Join us later. See ya. It's a place of culture, not a trough for swine to trudge to. This where Madame Marina's troupe performs? Yeah, but you can only enter with a ticket. There's no performance now. Mamas are just rehearsing. Process is interesting to observe, though. So, want a ticket? No performance. Said so yourself. You can still get a ticket. What'll it be? Need a ticket? Yeah, one. Here. Just stay out of sight, eh? Awful bashful, these mummers in rehearsal. Almost. Almost. Holy moly, Doris. Well, what was wrong that time? I don't know anymore. It simply needs more fire. Deep in his ear. The traitor. Do not. Defenseless in slumber. Do not come any Yet closer. his life he did abduct. Vile villain. And now the kingdom's dying. Oh, yeah. wears. But you Dying won't. Leave me Please be, be or I shall call my husband. We must leave, my beloved. God's approach. What do you want we from me? Have an half, half, half and half to with you. Shut off. Just look at the freak. Did you see those poor wretches who fled Bella? No, no. Madame Marina, can we talk? Geralt of Rivia. Dandelions told us so much about you. Is he with you? No, but I hope to bring him back soon. Here to talk about Dudu. Hmm. Let's speak in my quarters at the back of the theatre. We'll be undisturbed there. How can I help? We've not seen Dandelion or Dudu recently. I want to stage a play. Something that'll really draw the crowds. I see. And you hope it'll get Dudu's attention as well, draw him here. So it must be an entirely new play? And who will write it? Priscilla, actually. She's done writing it. Tells the story of a witcher who rescues a Doppler from certain death. Mm. Sounds interesting. I'll gladly have a glance. But first we must think about getting the word out and organizing some protection. Ushers. Would you mind tending to these matters? Ah. 
How can I help you spread the word about the premiere? Well, we'd like all the city to hear about it, so we must clearly talk to the Puffins. Who are the Puffins? Street artists. Get them to announce the premiere, and even the muscles on the harbor piling will hear about it. Where'll I find them? They did occupy some rooms in the bits in a townhouse, but I can't be sure they're still there. I've not seen them in the streets lately. They may very well have hung up their body hose. See if I can find them, and if they'll work for us. Think we need ushers? A play about Dopplers could be controversial, but are ushers absolutely necessary? Can't be sure if you've attended many performances, but Novigrad crowds can be particularly difficult. Rotten apples, tomatoes, eggs, that sort of thing? Axes, butcher's knives, and bricks, actually. All right, know anyone appropriate? Try the docks, perhaps. You're bound to find some men willing to do any work for a few crowns. Thanks for helping. I'll come back once I've found some ushers. See you then. Good fight. Some nice footwork there. Challenging me, or is it hell you want to face? A witcher versus the beast of Metina. Killer instinct versus primal rage. I'd like to hire you to help out. We're staging a play. Need us to kick some ass on stage. Actually want you to usher. Keep the peace. Make sure no one's ass gets kicked on stage or off. Got the wrong man. Ass kicking's what we do. Pay well. Stand to make more than you do here. Expecting trouble? Well, we need to bust some heads. Can't rule it out. Bricks could start flying. Heard that from a reliable source. Ow! Wanna smash some bricklayers? Oh, he does, he does! Oh, I don't know my own brother. Give me that coin. And don't fret. We'll be there before any of the uh, dancing starts. Fire! Not on stage! The truth is, we're already dependent on the black buttons, economically. Ah, there you are. Managed to hire some ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. Wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I've very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher, and the queen, but I'm not certain who should play the prince and the princess. Who is playing the witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him, but I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer to the troop? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. It's a good idea. Doubt I'll get a standing ovation, but Doodle will see me. That's the key. But you will make an effort, won't you? Learn your lines, at least. I'll give it a shot, of course. So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet, I do have more stage experience. Let's have Priscilla do it. No offense, but uh, most people... Assign greater importance to appearance than to talent. 
I understand. I shall let her know. I'm certain she'll be wonderful. So who do you see playing the Doppler Prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safer bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique, but he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bollier, outstanding actor, and audiences love him, but sadly I can never be sure he'll show up sober, or that he'll show up at all. Let's go with Abelard. I'll take a reliable artisan over an unpredictable artist any day. Rightly so. The project is risky enough without our casting Maxim. All right. Got the cast figured out. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? We can start now. Looked over the script, out of curiosity. We can start any time, even now. Well, we've no time to lose. Come to the stage. Zoltan, what are you doing here? <laughs> Pissy told me you ought to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me what you are. You going to wear hose and a codpiece? Calm, Geralt. You must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, welcome. We have for you an exquisite comedy. It's title, The Doppler's Salvation. The players, Witcher Geralt as himself, Katarina as the queen, Leo Rybe as the humble servant, appearing as the prince, a veteran of the Novigrad stage, Abelard Ritza. And as the princess, the lovely Trabaritz with the voice of a nightingale, Priscilla. Majesty, the monster slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. But first, some wine to steady my hand. <laughs> Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. Her monster shall show at tonight's beastly splendor. Stand guard, beware, kill the beast if he shows. Your reward you'll receive on my finest pillows. To slay beasts most foul, twas for this I was made. I kill as my calling, not just to get paid. He swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Ah, oh, my child will pity her love, this beast. Though at least ere he goes, he'll enjoy a last feast. Gathered are we, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day, the princess's betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. 
Perhaps midst the guests he hides in fear. My dear, long have we hid our love's tender fires. Months we've restrained our loins hot desires. Tonight shall it end. Be my wife. That's my plea. That having said, <laughs> I'll get down on my knee. Oh, darling, I will, I will, I will. Wait, with wine must we toast this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. T -t treason tis not wine, <coughs> but a brew spiked with silver. <gasps> My bowels contract a foul beast to deliver. <gasps> hark, hark, tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. If the maid loves him, it seems we've lost her. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword. Let fly the killing stroke. Stop, stop, beast or man. Tis my love, my betrothed. Sheath your blades, fear a Doppler. Tis a thing most foolish. Changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes. But a lack of morals and a surfeit of cakes. Witcher, tis true. This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk, and its moral is this. No monster is he whose shape can shift. The Witcher is just a true Doppler's friend. But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. Guard! Call the guard! Remove the traitor at once! Hey, hear the princess's command. Come up here. Come on then, governor. Up you go. On stage. Toss the tray, I scum in the dungeon. Don't be afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after. Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! Give it a rest, mate. Can't you see it's all in fun? This is a comedy. A ghoul could play the prince. Lighten up, for God's sake. Greetings, Dudu. Heard about that souvenir Horson left on your face. So, you know everything? Have you seen Siri? No. Still looking for her. Geralt! Masterful! You did great. Haven't they laughed that hard in ages? Lads won't believe it when I tell them. Explain one thing to me. How do you and Dandelion manage to displease Reuven, Horson, and the Temple Guard all at the same time? It's not as if we planned it. <laughs> I 
I know Siri went back to Horsens to get you. How'd you manage to escape? I ran after her, wanting to keep up, but I'd have been a hindrance. She called out to me, entreated me to shapeshift and disappear. I tried to find them, Siri and Dandelion. It was as if they turned to vapor. Fearing for my life, I shifted each day, becoming someone else. Even considered turning into Siri to trick her pursuers, but slow down, Marmalade. Geralt, when did you last see Cirilla? Hmm? Been a while, hasn't it? A while, yeah. For me, likewise. Must be a full grown lass by now. Do, do, do us a wee favor. Show us Siri for a moment. Geralt? Transform. Change into her. I feel strange, both of you staring at me bug-eyed. Is that enough? Yeah, plenty. Bad idea. Not angry with me, are you, Geralt? No. I feel relieved. And Dandelion? Were you able to find him? Witch hunters nabbed him, but there's good news too. We think we can free Dandelion. Just need your help. What could I do? Take on Menga's appearance. Then go and give the order for Dandelion to be moved to Oxenfurt. We'll lie in ambush in a ravine en route. Spring Dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. Wait, not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where Dandelion's being held. Listen, you'll manage. Everybody believes Menga's missing. You can make up any story you want. My lads and me will lie in ambush in the ravine. Geralt will then join us and we'll await word from you. But how am I to contact you as Menga? Send word that the convoy's left. You'll need to figure that out. Come on, Guile's your middle name. So, we all clear? Dudu, get your ass to Temple Isle. I'm off to assemble my crew. And we'll be waiting for you, Geralt. Yeah, see you in the ravine. Whoa, wait! Hold on! What happens after? I hope you don't expect me to continue as Menga, live like Chappelle, burning the occasional heretic to keep up appearances? No. Once it's over, we expect to see you at the Rosemary in Time, where we'll all meet. To get pissed like wild badgers. So, settled? Let's get to work. Not bad. Not bad at all for your first time out. Just a few minor trip-ups. The performance in general. What did you think? I doubt the audience understood it all, but that's to be expected. You were right to cast Abelard as the prince. It's likely Maxim would have shown up drunk as a fish or forgotten about the premiere altogether. Here you are, your fee. I must admit your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimalist. Did you study anywhere? At Kaer Morhen. Minimum expression means maximum effect. Thanks for the coin. Take care now. <laughs> 